So, I just got home from work. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna expect. Um, I've just got messages saying that they need this and they need that. Hmm, there's obviously been some drama. So, um, let's find out what's going on. What's going on? What? What's this is our homemade incubator, but we have just watched a video on a really good one from a drinking water bottle. So uh, we're going to make our own incubator. Oh, it's up the centre box there. Good. There's no light on, is that right? Yeah, because it's faulty. So I turned it off. Oh, hold it. Oh, hold it and I'll show Daddy. Do you want to explain what's happened? Why have we got chicks on our kitchen table? Goose ate them. Go and show him. We kept the dead one for you. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, fantastic. What is it for dinner? We can have it for dinner. Oh. It's not a lot of meat on it. What is for dinner? Depends how much for belly. Depends how much, and the salad, belly and salad. Pork belly. Pork belly, Eddie's requested crackling. Look, I made the salad. Oh, well done, that looks nice. Look. Just to clarify, I'm gonna call it the now. chicken that was hatching them mm. went a bit goose. cannibalistic. Well, it's called goose for a reason. I mean, it does growl, this chicken. But she's now sitting on other eggs. Eggs that the chicken's laid today. Totally oblivious to the fact that she's massacred her own. She's killed her own chick and she's sitting on one. She's perfectly happy sitting on other eggs. She just but when's the hat? She just sit. thinks their dinner or like a light snack. Okay. It's like KFC. <laughs> so, like, what happens here? Are you just gonna. Well, we might have three turns checking its temperature. But it's only three days, right? Yeah. Unless you can think of another idea. Well, ideally, we, we want. We need a better seal. No, we just want a dimmer switch. Well, not only that, but it's still because it's not holding the humidity. I've mm. just got a massive jug in there, but it's a pottery jug, so it keeps really warm. Okay. And works as a radiator. All right. But you said it can't be huge for operation. Look, Sally. No. So. As you can see, this hatching didn't quite go to plan. The broody hen that was hatching the eggs really well, right to the 21 days, decided halfway towards the end she would start eating the eggs. So when I got home, Chrissy and the children had uh, made an attempt to put uh, together a temporary incubator with a cooler and some heat source and, and thermometers and stuff. We've had a great trouble trying to get the the humidity and the temperature about right. Um, two of the chicks that managed to chip their way out never managed to get through the hardening membrane because the moisture level was too low so they needed a little bit of help so we had to wet the membranes and just lift them off and break some of the egg for them. This isn't the norm and I wouldn't generally recommend doing this. Typically you'd have either a hen that doesn't cannibalize the chicks or you'd have them in a uh, incubator that was set up correctly well before the time. Um, it just goes to show how important the humidity level is in incubating chicks.
Its other leg. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does need its other leg. Hi, cutie. It's a little eye. It's a little I can't, I can't help it out anymore. It has to do on its own now. Okay. No, it's gonna shiver now. Yeah, it's shiver, isn't it? It's like you have to. You have to try and get the other side out for it. want to check that it's absorbed enough of the yolk. That's how you tell. That's what it eats for its yeah, first yeah. two days. I think it's got enough of it. Right, it goes back in the lamp now. Okay. Come on. We believe in you, boy. Nice. Let, it, let, let it dry it. out now. So this is our chick. One hour post egg extraction surgery as I might call it. How you doing fella? I don't know if it's a fella or a lady. It's a bit of cold. I still think that might be a little bit too warm. Maybe. I'm gonna monitor it but obviously. Yeah. So we have this now because we just had a little cheap dollar store um, thermometer. So we've got this now so we don't have to keep uncovering it to look at the temperature. So humidity is showing a little bit low for the eggs that haven't hatched and the temperature is a little bit low but I don't think it's actually settled yet as to um, what the actual temperature is. I think it's still sort of adjusting. So it's not been in there that long. But yeah, the amount of noise coming off this little fella. I reckon it is a fella because I keep calling it a fella. Little noise coming off it. Hopefully is good and he did actually get kick the bottom of his egg off um, Once he was in here. It's pecking Marcus um, And he had absorbed the egg sac So the one thing we were worried about and didn't want to help him out the egg was to have to absorb that egg sac to uh, sustain them for the first two days um, Yeah, he had so that's good So this is our little chappy, two hours past post hatch. Thirty-four degrees. Attempting to peck at sawdust. Move the eggs slightly more under the lamp because the temperature is still a little bit on the low side. The humidity is good, um, so we can't have it zipped up too much because otherwise it gets too humid. Uh, probably could do with like an extra five watts of lamp. <laughs> Trying to get that right. But um Chappy's fine. We just don't know what will happen with the eggs. Obviously we couldn't leave them with the mummy. So she went on a massacre. She was having dinner. Yeah. She fancied KFC. Oh walking. Well, wow. attempting or Bambi walking. It's amazing watching how tiny and fragile they are. It's looking a little bit more fluffier than it did when it came out. It's dried out a bit. All right, darling. Noisy little sounds, aren't they? Got a lot to say. Are you coming up to your brothers and sisters? So come on, join me. So what we don't know is whether mum decided to start the hatch or whether this little buddy had started pecking out by himself.
This is number two trying to break out. Yeah. Um, it's more water. Yeah, it's the water that gets it going. It's down to 66% again. We need to cover it up. <laughs> hey, what are you doing to my thermometer? <laughs> what are you doing to my thermometer? And clock. Hey, fluffle. And ball. humidity. She tries to pick the, the button so she, the beat's not strong enough. What are you <laughs> she doing? She doesn't do oh, anything. Right, on a stretch. And then she's gonna fall asleep, fall asleep and then fall over. <laughs> look, she's falling asleep now. That's a cute look. That's a cute look. It's falling asleep. I'm not gonna let you wake it up. <laughs> This is okay. a chicken assault course. Right, good, come on. Over the rubber. Good boy. Wow. <laughs> the obstacle course. Come on. Pin it. Oh, <laughs> oh pin it. Uh, I can see the seesaw. Come on, pin it. Oh. Pin oh. oh. Look at Let's see that again. Come on, pin it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pin Come on. Come on. Too hard. <laughs> it's looking for that one. <laughs> 